we have to think about new ways and retraining people to new ways of working. So this is why in the short term, we have to see what we can do employment-wise in the villages. So immediately people can start getting something to do. Whilst we plan for the longer term, and education is the best way. If we get people educated, if you could be a good, say you a certified welder, you could make 2,000 US dollars a month. That was the Vice President, Dr. Barajagdio, speaking to a gathering of residents from many of the riverine communities in Region 10 on Sunday. The meeting was part of a wider outreach activity led by the Vice President to the region. During this outreach activity, the Vice President talked up the government's economic plan and efforts at cushioning the rising cost of living. And importantly, he announced that 800 of the 8,000 temporary jobs the government plans to provide countrywide will be created in this region. In the next three weeks, we're going to employ about 800 people in this region so that they can get a job too in the next few weeks. So there will be a form, an application form. Make sure that people fill this up and then they can get some jobs too. So this is all to assist. Importantly, the Vice President talked up the government's focus on expanding education across Guyana as well. And though Guyanese have been promised 20,000 online scholarships by 2025, he said that if more people are interested, the government will fund their tertiary education. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragbir.